Hello VFX people, I'm AK, this is Fluid Ninja, and we are talking about non-looping sequences, the baking of non-looping sequences, again. We already had a chapter covering this topic, as you can see here, uh, Fluid Ninja VFX Chapter 5. The link is going to be in the upper right corner, just click on it if you would like to check the original material. So this is an extension. And so, uh, there is one thing I have not mentioned in the original chapter. And let's just shortly recap what we had that time. First, I'm loading the Ninja Tools level. Starting Ninja. And loading a non-looping sequence. Yeah, like Smoke Rush. Uh, as we have mentioned, these non-looping sequences have a definite beginning and a definite end. And so it is absolutely important where to start and end the capture, as opposed to looping sequences. Let me show you another non-looping sequence, uh, like all these explosions. They have a definite beginning and a definite end, and you would like to start uh, the baking at this definite beginning. So, um, uh, as I have mentioned, uh, this. Uh, random particle thing that is generating the input for the fluid simulation is non-deterministic, which means it looks a bit different every time. And so it is very advantageous to take uh, more than one captures and pick the best. And one of you mentioned that uh, when you, you have tried to set up a situation when a non-looping sequence is repeating, like in this case, it did not happen. And I figured out what the problem was. So, uh, returning um, to our favorite smoke rush, you see, uh, in the input density viewport, you can see the, the cascade particles. And so, uh, we have this thing repeating here. And we have this thing repeating in the viewport as well. Now, uh, let me quit Ninja and enter cascade and uh, show you the setup. So we are going to the Fluid Ninja per input, per Fluid Presets, per Smoke Rush, and here is the Smoke Rush particle system. Okay, we have this thing looped here, and please have a look at this uh, required module, and notice that the emitter loops are set to zero, which means this emitter is looping infinitely. Once the, mm, the sequence of particles has been played, it is restarting the whole thing. Re, uh, the, the emitter is uh, being uh, respawned. Now, uh, check this out. I set the emitter loops to one, which means uh, in game, the whole situation is played only once. I press enter, but in Cascade there is no difference because Cascade is uh, detecting that the particle system is being killed and restarting the play despite the fact that the emitter loops is set to 1. But Ninja is a bit more sensitive, so if I save this one with emitter loops set to 1 and I go back to Ninja, And here we go, and I pick the, the preset that we have already checked, Smoke Rush 1. You see, the thing played only once, and that is annoying. But the solution is uh, <laughs> basically to set your non-looping sequence to repeat. You see, I set back the emitter loops to zero, save the sequence, I have this thing uh, uh, repeating here, Go back to Ninja. Ah, sorry. First full screen, then Ninja. And the problem uh, looks solved, hopefully, which means uh, my, my cascade sequence in the input density viewport is repeating. And just to practice the thing a little bit, I just press the record. Ah, oh, how to do this again? Uh, I recap the previous chapter. I press stop at the end of the thing. I press record which means the system is preparing itself to record the non-looping sequence and I, when I press play it is capturing only 64 frames and it's done and as you can see in the baked sequence viewport we are finished 
So that's the key for capturing non-looping sequence. In cascade, set the, the emitter looping to zero, which means it is infinite and it is repeating again and again. And so you could do your versions. Well, yeah, that's one key thing. Uh, a bit technical and boring as usual. But then uh, thank you for your attention and see you next time.